Hello there, it's May the 4th, 2020, and today I have a comparison and review of LEGO's three T16 Skyhopper models. We have the first one, which was made in 2003, and it comes with a pilot minifigure. It did not come with the Tuscan Raider minifigure, but this is their Tuscan Raider from the same year, a different set. And I have him here for comparison because the others do come with a Tuscan Raider minifigure. The second one here is the 2015 T-16 Skyhopper. Comes with the pilot figure, Tuscan Raider, and a Womp Rat. The last one is part of a two-pack Micro Fighters series. And you have a Tuscan Raider and a Bantha. And a T-16 pilot and this truncated little squatty T-16 build. The accessories are very similar. You've got slight different piece makeup and coloration on the two staves for the Tuscan Raiders. In the first one, he comes with a pair of binoculars, a blaster, and an extra control screen, which can be used as some kind of data pad. The 2015 one has a blaster, Womp Rat. It also has these flick fire, spring fired missiles. Those are fun. I guess you're trying to hit the Womp Rat or the Tuscan Raider with that. It also comes with a crate that rests in the center of the ship. And on the Micro Fighter series, you have these stud shooters, which are pretty standard with those. And you have a small handgun for the pilot. Inflation adjusted, these sets are all very similar in price within $8. The 2003 one, you have it $21.05. The 2015, you have it $27.24. And the current 2020 set is $20. The 2003 model is the blockiest of the three. It was limited by parts at the time but it does have a very uniform finish to it, even though it is quite rough as a model. It's one I had as a kid when it first came out. It has amazing custom printing. No stickers, all prints. The 2015 model has the highest piece count and the best price per piece ratio. It has windscreen elements there. It also has the spring-loaded shooters, a fun play feature. It also has a lot of details packed into here that the other model did not have. But unfortunately the decals are all stickers. Which the previous owner of this did get on there decently well, but I really wish they had those printed, just especially in comparison to the nice prints of the 2003 model. The new one, a huge minus, is that they do not have the Griffin decal on this flag piece, either stickered or printed. It's a perfect place for it, and it really just seems lacking. It's definitely something in the future I'm gonna tackle making my own custom sticker for that panel. But aside from that, the wing angle is very good, and this is a really good truncated, shrunk down version of the T-16 model. With the minifigures, my favorite pilot minifigure is the original one from 2003. I think he's very, very different and very striking in his all red flight suit and red rebel helmet. I thought it was a really fun piece as a kid. One thing I did miss was the printing. And so I've made my own EVA foam cosplay helmet of that red rebel pilot helmet and what I think maybe Lego would have printed on it matching the rest of their set. And I have a full video showing off this helmet and talking a little bit about how I made it on my channel. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. The next two pilots are almost identical and I really wish they would have done a little more variety. They only have a slight different belt print. The helmets also have a very, very slight 
color difference on the center ridge, but the face prints are identical. And as a bonus, they do have alternate expressions without their helmet visors, but I wish they would have put some more variety in those pilots. One thing I plan to do for myself is to raid the dark red helmet from the Star Wars Sand Speeder. And I'm going to take that dark red helmet and place it onto one of those T-16 pilots to get that striking all red pilot outfit that was in the 2003 model. Anyhow, that's it for this comparison and review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in another video.